Hello everybody! Happy Friday! Happy Vlogtober! Happy all the things! Um, it's going to be a long weekend, lots of rest. So I decided that this week, oh, I'm in like a little bit of a bad lighting situation. So this week you have your Friday video, you have your Saturday video, you have your Sunday video, and because I'm off you're going to get a Monday video. So four videos in a row. This one's coming to you a little late though because I have friends coming over tonight. We're going to hang out. We've had quite a week and we're just going to have a really good time. As far as vlogging um, during the week, it didn't happen this week. It's going to happen every other week. This week got a little away from me, um, all for good reasons. It's been a great week. I'm going to catch you up on everything. Um, sorry, my lighting is going in and out. It's been a great week. I'm ready for the weekend, and I'm ready to spend time with all of you and my friends this evening. Um, I'm gonna turn you around because we had a bunch of deliveries this week that I'm super excited about. I had uh, so many goodies coming this week. You see two of these robes. These are my favorite. These are the Teddy robe. I wore a brown like tobacco colored one all vlogmas last year. This gray is new this year. I bought two of them because my best friend Laura and I have a getaway where we went rented we rented a beautiful home and we're going to be going in November and I thought how fun would it be to have matching robes and mugs and comfy socks. So I picked those up at Pottery Barn for us as a surprise. What else came? The Value Spa Advent Calendar came. So it is so heavy and the packaging is so substantial and nice. This one is a 12 day, so that has arrived. I already showed you guys my rituals. David's Tea, Stevens came. Look how cute that is on the inside. So Stevens David's Tea came. And this one came, this is from William Morris. We've stayed in many hotels that had William Morris um, toiletries and I really like them. And I found out they make an advent calendar. So I picked up the William Morris one. I pre-ordered this one so long ago that I forgot about it. Also, we talked about these stockings. They came and I love them. They actually came very quickly. And then I also bought these anthropology ornaments that are the famous anthropology mirror. And I bought eight or nine of those, but I have to show you because this was the right call because imagine this on the fireplace with lots of greenery and other black accents. Say hello to everyone. Say hello to everyone. It was a cute doggy. We have pizza coming from a really good wood fireplace. And then I am just getting ready to set out some cookies. I have a cake that's being delivered shortly. And I got these two little plates from Target. I'm gonna make a veggie tray. So it's gonna be a really relaxed evening. And he's gonna be on his best behavior. I am going to get a couple things prepped and get going and then we're gonna catch up in a little bit. I am ready to go. They should be here in any minute. Um, they said we plan around 6.30 and it's 6.23. I'll show you what I have going on right now. I bought this red velvet cake. I have some cookies out. I made like a little veggie tray, chips, salad. It's gonna be simple. And then I have four different types of wood fire pizza coming from a local place. It's gonna be a great, great fun night and I cannot wait. We were all just talking about Adele in a group text. So I'm gonna put on a, an Adele playlist. But I will catch up with you guys afterwards. Good morning, everybody. It is 8.05 a.m. I am just getting up, making some coffee, feeding Bubby, and yeah, we had such a good time last night. I'm gonna catch you up on the week and all the things, but I just had to go to sleep after I got everything cleaned up. It was like going on midnight, and yeah. So we'll have a video today that has Friday and Saturday. Sunday, and then we'll have a video on Monday as addition. So you'll still get three videos over the course of the next three days. Thank you for being so understanding, but the time with my friends was so important and so needed. All right, I need to get some coffee in me and then need to start thinking about the day. Also, Steven is out of town. I just got dressed, it's a little after nine, and I am feeling like just going for a little walk with Bubby, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk, let's go. Let's go for a walk, let's go. We are back from our walk. It was fun. It took us 30 minutes to walk a mile <laughs> from someone who runs a mile under 10 minutes 
that can be frustrating, but I want to remind you of something. It's something I always remind myself. Don't rush them, yank them, like try to speed them up. Remind yourself that it is probably the best part of their day and their favorite part of their day and just let them enjoy it I let him sniff and stand and look at everything and we didn't move until he was ready and we had a really nice walk It was really relaxing. I listened to a little music and just let him Have fun and the whole time we walked I just kept telling him he was a good boy so Next time you have your animal out for a walk, don't rush them. Just let them enjoy that moment because it's the best moment of their day. I thought this video we would do a little thrifting to see if we can come up with any good finds. So we're going to hit a couple thrift stores today and see if there's anything good out there. If you know me, I love to decorate with things that I find at thrift stores. All right, let's get going. I am back from thrift shopping. Part of my hair, I had a hat on all morning. I recorded in the Goodwill, but there was a kid screaming and a parent yelling at the child um, in the footage, so I'm not including it here, but I did find three things. I spent $12 there. I'll show you what I grabbed. So I'm just soaking things right now. The one thing that I fell in love with I always soak everything. It just makes the sticker come off so easily. But I loved this mug. It was 99 cents, but look how pretty it is. I just thought it was so striking. Then another thing that I picked up was, there's some tape on it, but there was this like old brass, I'm not gonna use it for anything but decor. But I thought that was so pretty for when the fall is over to have on my stove. It was $4. So I picked this up. And then one of the last things I picked up was this guy. But it came with, and I'll show you in a second this sticker is going to need some work. But it came with this. I don't know what this is, but I just thought it was so pretty, so I picked it up. I don't know if it's like, a, I don't know. I don't know if it's like a bar tool, but I picked that up. It was, uh, I think, $3.99. So I just picked up those three things, and then I hopped over to Williams-Sonoma. During the peak of us all being home last year, I wanted a bread maker. However, everywhere you looked, bread makers were sold out. So I decided to go to Williams-Sonoma today to see if they had one in stock. And they did. They had this Cuisinart compact automatic bread maker. So I went ahead and bought it because I wanted one. And I like baking, but like, let's face it, baking bread is time consuming. And well, that, just that, time consuming. So I grabbed this bad boy today. And I'm super excited to read about it, give it a try. And then I also bought two French loaf bread mixes, a Parmesan and garlic loaf, and then lastly, a seeded whole grain bread. I think we're gonna make one of the French loaves. I bought these for a treat this evening. Um, the chocolate covered sea salt column rolls. They only come out around Christmas, they're so good. What's Gabby Cooking is one of my favorite cookbooks. I love her, I follow her on Instagram. I forget her last name right now, but I bought her taco seasoning. I picked up her This Is Everything seasoning and then Tastes Like Pizza seasoning. I thought those would be great for popcorn or anything else, but I think we might mess with this bread maker and see what happens. Let me get it cleaned up, set up, and then I'll touch base with you. It has done its first need and it's doing its first rise. I'm actually really excited about it. We'll see how it turns out. 
but it's so easy to use. Once I figured it out, I just was rushing. But now that I kind of figured what to do, it's going to be super simple. It'll be great for the holidays. It is so dreary out, friends. It looks like it's going to rain, but it hasn't yet. Bubby and I have just been chilling and relaxing, haven't we? Hasn't we, Bubbozoid? You went for a walk today. Usipis, usipis. I love you so much. Right? What, did you do you do it? Did you? Did you? Who's that? What's it? Would you? Would you? Oh, I loves you. Fix your ear. Fix your ear. Oh, he's got your ear flip. <laughs> no one is there. I promise you. We just had a delivery, and it's in a little rough shape. It's from my favorite store, McGee and Co. The first thing I bought from. Studio McGee is this set of trees. Well, it's not one set. I think I there's three to a set. So three, one, two. I bought four sets of them. But they're like a beautiful, like neutral camely tobacco color, which I love. And then you guys know that one of my themes is bells. So I also bought So I also bought three of these bell clusters, and I love them. That is a good mail day. I just got done working out, by the way. But I also watched Adele live on Instagram. She played snippets of her new song. It is fantastic. Also, I have the bread going. I think we have two hours left on it. It's in the third rise, but it... Actually, it was very easy once I got used to it. All right, I am going to go get cleaned up because my workout is over. I am on day nine of level one of Jillian Michael's 30-day workout program, having a blast. But yeah, I am all cleaned up. I've been resting. Bubba's just ate his dinner. My hair's all messy right now. The bread just finished, so I want to check it out with you. When I had the opportunity to take out the uh, paddle, I kind of misshaped the bread, so I know how to fix that next time. Let's see if we can get this out, because you can see like I had trouble getting it back in there. But let's check it out. Because I struggled, what was I gonna say? Jeez Louise, I can't think. Because I struggled to get it started, I also think my water, cooled way too much so my loaf didn't rise as high as it should have so that is all on me it is not a product of the actual bread maker that's a product of me so i do think this loaf is going to be a little denser than it normally would be but that's my fault, but it's beautifully baked. I'm gonna keep working with this. Do I recommend it? Yes, because all of the errors that occurred were user errors. You didn't know what you were doing. You're right, I didn't. But the reason it didn't rise as high as I wanted it to was because I was struggling with buttons and my water got way too cool before I got the kneading to happen but I do recommend it. I think it was super easy to use now that I do a second loaf, which I might actually do tomorrow. So, not the fault of the bread maker. It's 100% easier than making a loaf of bread. So, I let Bubby out and he went gallivanting from the back to the front, being naughty. Would you be naughty? Hey, get up there, come on. <laughs> you little stink pot. We are gonna wrap up this vlog outside and tell you a little bit about my week. So this week was really special and I have a lot to be proud of. I am 
really working and have been working on finding more balance in my work. I used to work around the clock nonstop and felt like it was never ending almost. And this year I just chose to work, sorry for the wind, but it's so nice out right now. And this year I've just decided it has to be different and it has to look different. And as I have found this balance, I find that the quality of my work is so much more. And this week was just a really special week of being recognized by leaders in my organization and colleagues and it was a little overwhelming but also really inspiring and really motivating to just do better but also not sacrifice this newfound balance that I've found. I've also been reflecting a lot on self-care. We're seeing so much stuff in social media, on TV, in our workplaces around self-care and how you have to take care of yourself and after all that society has gone through the last 19 months how important social and emotional health is and I find that we're trying to use it as a band-aid to fix things or to compensate for things when self-care is truly a really personal journey and I think we're giving suggestions out very freely but in actuality you have to find what works for you because someone else's version of self-care might actually be depleting to you. I think when you're trying to figure out self-care, there are some things you need to ask yourself. How are you feeling? What do you need? And will this give you energy? Because it will not look the same for everyone. But I think we're trying to give suggestions that are band-aids to issues or things that we believe or have heard are self-care. But self-care looks really different just based off of you as a person. So instead of just trying things and reading those posts on social media that tell you to breathe or take a bath or what a, whatever the list is because the lists are long, kind of walk away and just keep asking yourself like what do you need? How do you feel? And will this give or take your energy away? Because some self-care ends up taking energy away. I'm nervous as we continue to push it that it becomes this fake or forced positivity, which is actually more detrimental in the long run. So don't let anyone tell you or don't let anything influence your self-care. And you do what feels right to you, even if that's doing nothing. So I'm going to wrap up this video and send you all the love and end it like I always do. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.